Welcome to another episode of Minecraft, guys. Um, as promised, this is going to be an update f to the farm. Uh, I need to finish putting glass on here. But this is just kind of the entryway that will lead down to the um, other farms that I'll be having underneath um, each other. <laughs> if that makes sense. So like I'll have um, one under another under another. Just kind of a column of farms. It'll be nice and handy. Um, what's, oh, I'm missing a piece of glass. I'm not sure how big I want this entryway. Maybe one more up. Yeah, we'll just do one more. Ah. Alright, and then once I have this built, um, we'll go down to the area I dug out for the next farm, which will be just a farm, <laughs> a wheat farm, um, and I'm not going to use the most efficient way. Uh, I know there are many different farm designs that you can use. You can use automated farms, you can do uh, crazy spiral ones that are really efficient and use up as much space as possible, um, but I'm going to do it my way since um, farming like, okay, so the spiral one, it's not very good for what I've got set up right now. Um, just the where the entrance is and all that stuff. Um, as well as uh, just the layout of, that I want is going to be a little bit different. Um, so I won't get as many wheat, as many wheats, <laughs> as much wheat out of the farm. But I don't really need that much anyway. Since I just need it for bread and stuff, it's not like I'm feeding an army, I'm just feeding myself. Ah, uh, oh, dang it. Um, I think I've got a door, yeah. Alright, so here's just my little entryway. Oh, I might add a little wood to it to make it look a little bit better, but for now this works. Alright, I've got some chests set up. This one's got some of my extra stuff I might need. Actually, I can put my glass back in here while I and put some dirt in here. And let's see, and then here's my other stuff that I have usually in my inventory. Um, awesome tree farm. Got a bunch of wood and stuff. But um, this is, let's see, I think it's like nine by something else. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think it's nine by, oh, don't quote me on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 9x9. Nine nine. Okay, so basically 10x10 10 10 if you include the outside wall. And then I need to put some stairs in here. And let's see. So then the stairs will come down here and then go down to the next level. Um, so down, down, and just keep going down like that. I'll just leave this room like this, um, and I'll have chests over here for anything with the wheat farm. And here is the area. <laughs> it's huge. I didn't realize up above was that big. Um, and it's kind of weird. I've just placed dirt here, and after a while it'll grow grass. I don't know if that's like a new thing with 1.0 or a glitch or something. So you can see that one hasn't grown grass yet. But I thought that was kind of weird. Um... But let's see, I'll do one first uh, and show you guys what this is going to look like. Alright. And then go along here. Oh, oh. It's like that. And then there'll be wheat all along here. And then I'll just have a bunch of these. Um, also, I need wood. I'll be placing wood like this all the way down. Except for in the middle, this will be water so that the crops can grow. You don't need that much water, but like I said, this <laughs> my design isn't the most efficient, but I like it the best. Um, and actually... Now that I think about this, I'm going to make this go in one, so I can have dirt on the end as well. So right here. 
Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so I'm going to build this, fast forward, and I'll see you in a second. All right, I decided to stop and show you guys. This is kind of what the finished product is going to look like, except for harvest, uh, farmed ground. So like that. And that's basically it. Um, it's This keeps the wheat from jumping into the water, and it just <laughs> it works exactly how it should. Um, it's easy to access uh, and farm. So... I think that's the best kind of design. Um, some people have like super efficient ones or automated ones, but those ones would take a lot more materials than what I have, and um, the space would be a little bit weird for an automated one, and like I said, the entryway would have to be on one end or something to do a spiral. So this works great. Um, so I'll finish up these and then... Uh, Yes, I'll just finish these. Wow, I don't even have enough seeds to plant the entire thing, so this is plenty big enough for me. Um, wow, I probably only need like a fraction of this, but having it a big farm is awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's my farm. Just simple. Uh, hopefully it has enough lighting. I need to fix the torches on the outside. They're not even. But um, I may not even ha need torches because of these torches, but... Um, Oh, looking good. My farm is coming along nice. Um, I think next one will be a reed farm, and then a cactus farm, and then a mushroom farm. The mushroom farm I'm a little bit hesitant to do, because uh, if anybody has an, um, good information on mushroom farms, because I've got a general idea of how to make one, but I'm not sure about the lighting and if monsters will spawn when... Uh, like, what lighting I need to allow mushrooms to spawn, but not monsters. That's my dilemma right now. Um, I may need to do a whole different type of building just for the mushrooms, so we'll see. But that basically completes this farm. Um, I'll be putting some chests in here for with, like, farming equipment. I can put my um, stone and uh, iron hose in there and seeds and stuff. Um, yeah, and then I'll just go down a floor, and then do my reed farm, etc, etc. Ah, awesome. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> of course there's a creeper just chilling outside. Um, but my tree farm is doing well. Oh, I forgot to replant. My tree farm is doing well. I just one. Um, it, it always gives me, like, a ton. I can't. I can't even remember how much it gives you in one um, go. It gives you, I think, two stacks or just under two stacks of wood if you do the entire area. And so I've got a ton of wood just from going a couple times. Um, yeah, amazing. Um, 
Oh yeah, I need to get rid of this one too. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode. Nothing too big happened. <laughs> um, luckily no monsters spawned while I was building. I made sure to keep torches lit and stuff, but, um, ah, oh, awesome. And I think maybe instead of doing the farm underneath this one next, I'll go back into the nether. I want to go check out that, um, nether dungeon thing. Hopefully maybe find some cool stuff in there. Oh, get some nether wart and stuff. Yes, yes. That's what I'm going to do in the next episode. So I will see you then.